You know what? Just because I look like this doesn't mean I have a disease! Hey, what's going on guys? Sunday here and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. Today we're looking at the disease mod. Uh, where, where these uh, these evil money stealers are, are not stopping at mutated mobs. They, they are making diseases now. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty friggin' demented and, uh, yeah, pretty gross. So, let's go ahead, let, let's see what these money stealers have been up to, and, uh, let's see if we can stop them. Oh, yeah, but first, dudes, real quick, of course, congratulations to B Radsta. Uh, he commented on my last mod review, and he won that HD photo. If, uh, any of you dudes are interested in winning this mod review's HD photo, be sure to leave a comment and a like down below for your chance to win. Uh, maybe we can get this mod review to, uh, 15 or 16,000 likes that would be greatly appreciated and uh, yes, okay dudes uh, Like I said these money stealers. They've been busy. They, they didn't just stop at uh, mutated mods They are now working on different diseases So uh, let, let's team up with our uh, our non money stealer leaders and uh, Let's see if we can put a stop to these diseases before they, they spread. All right dudes. Here we go. Uh, I went ahead. I, I got my hands on uh, their work. I got my hands on the on their journal, and uh, this is the crafting recipe to make this medical journal. Uh, this is the money. This is how the money stealers have been creating, and they've been documenting all of their demented ways. <laughs> you you friggin' jerks. So uh, yes, yeah, this is the medical journal. This will tell you everything you need to know, and uh, that all all these all these non money. Dealers. Don't worry, dudes. I'll, I'll give you one of these journals soon. We need some, we need to do some research uh, on all these diseases. How 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 they form, how they react, how they make you sick. If they can kill you, it gives you everything you need to know about all of these diseases. These jerks are trying to they're trying to end us, dudes, and we need to fight back. So, uh, yes, here's the book. We have, uh, we have a bunch of different diseases here, and there's different ways to get them. Uh, so the first disease we have here, uh, this, the, they, they have infected zombies. They have went around to all the zombies and have infected them, and check this out. Uh, this is called, this is called a chemical extractor. Uh, so like I was saying, you, you, you take the chemical extractor, you right click a zombie, and, uh, it work. Okay, there we go. And it actually gives you the disease. You can store the disease, and this is how these jerks are going around spreading the disease to all the different zombies. And, uh, this disease is called influenza, or the flu. Uh, you dudes know what the flu's like? <laughs> it freaking sucks. You're vomiting all over the place. You, yeah, the flu sucks. So, uh, yes. Check this out, dudes. Let's go ahead and put on all my armor. And, uh, how this disease spreads is, check this out. Whenever the zombie comes out here, actually, let's go in here with him. Hey, buddy. Hey, dude. Come on. Okay, dear lord. Oh, dear lord. Okay, I got it. Stop it. <laughs> Leave me alone. So, as you can see, I now have the flu. So, I have slowness, weakness, mining fatigue, and nausea. And there's apparently a zombie coming. Get the- get out of my face. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yes. We have slowness, weakness, mining fatigue, and nausea for an undetermined amount of time. So, yes. This is what- oh, dear lord, I hate this nausea effect. Oh gosh, so uh, let's go ahead. Let's read what this flu does. Let's go ahead. Let's right click the medical journal uh, Influenza So the symptoms are nausea weakness drowsiness and fatigue drowsiness fatigue are the same thing aren't they? Uh, anyway, just stupid money stealers. Uh, they're transferred from players and zombies Meaning I since I have the flu I could walk up to somebody else and punch them <laughs> and give them the flu uh, so yeah, <laughs> that kind of sucks. And then we can treat the flu with something called acetaminophen, which is uh, something for headaches, but yes. Uh, acetaminophen, and uh, here's how you craft acetaminophen. Uh, you need sugar, you need redstone and a glass bottle, and you get medication. Then you eat the medication, or take the medication, and there you go. It starts alleviating the symptoms. And there you go. Now you're fighting off, you have tier 1 medication, and you're now fighting off the flu. 
So yes, <laughs> us at the, uh, the 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 non money stealer headquarters came up with this medication, and uh, we're trying to fight back, dudes. We gotta fight back against these stupid money stealers. And you know what? Since we actually have this flu chemical extractor. Let's go ahead and give the flu to this stupid money stealer there. So all you, all you have to do is hit it. Look at that. Look at that. I hope you enjoy it, you jerk. <laughs> yes, have a taste of your own medicine. Oh yeah, and there's also, uh, there's also different types of vaccines. Uh, and these are the vaccines, the little green vials. Uh, so this is an, an, an influenza or a flu vaccine. And whenever you take this, it, uh, it, it makes you immune to the flu. But, uh, the only way to get these vaccines is, uh, to find non-money stealers out in the world. And some of them have figured out the vaccine. And you have to trade with them and, uh, give them some emeralds and they'll give you the vaccine. If they're nice enough. Uh, they're still doing some research on it though, so you might not be able to find them. But uh, yeah, that's the vaccine for inf or flu, and then you have a vaccine for the next disease, which I'll show you in a second. So the next disease we have here, uh, as you can probably tell by the dogs, is uh, a rab yeah, rabies. You can literally get rabies. These jerks. And that dude's still got the flu. Uh, yeah, they, they've made rabies. So let's go ahead. Let's, uh, let's extract this gene. Let's extract this sickness. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh, dear Lord, he's mad now. Uh, so check this out. This is uh, rabies. Yes. We, we literally have rabies in a vial. And apparently, I don't know what... Oh, dear Lord, he just hit me. Uh, okay, let's go in here. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know what the rabies does. Uh, hold on. Okay, so let's go in here. Let's go in here. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Okay, just keep hitting me until I get the rabies. <laughs> this is horrible. Why do I do this? Okay, do I have it? Oh, I have it. Okay. So what the rabies does is it gives you slowness for an undetermined amount of time. But check this out. Here's what the rabies does. Uh, wait, where'd the book go? Yep. Hold on. All right, so like I was saying, what the rabies does is the symptoms are slowness and hydrophobia. And I'll show you what the hydrophobia does in a second. It's transferred from wolves, and the mortality rate is 50%. Yes. So whenever this disease finishes its course on on you, uh, you have a 50% chance to freaking die. Like, that sucks. And then, of course, to subdue the slowness effect, uh, you take acetaminophen, and that'll subdue the slowness effect. But first, uh, let's head over here to the water, and I want to show you what hydrophobia does. Dudes, check this out. Like, this sucks. So if you ever have rabies, check this out. Yes. Whenever you go into the water, you take damage. Uh, I, I honestly, I, I don't, I haven't done any research of like real life rabies and what happens when uh, people in real life get rabies. But yes, <laughs> if you get rabies in Minecraft, don't go in the water. Yeah, you take damage. And I don't know why. All right, so I guess what we could do now is let's just, uh, let's hang out right here. <laughs> let's hang out right here and let's see. Ah, oh, dear lord. Once, the, once this disease runs its course on us, dude, uh, we have a 50% chance to live. Ah, oh, dear lord. Okay, let's just wait. Let's just hang out. Let's wait. Let's see what happens. And I died. <laughs> dude, we just got wiped out by rabies. And then, of course, there is, uh, there is also a vaccine for rabies. Uh, it cures the rabies and I believe m renders you immune to rabies from here on out. Uh, so, yeah, that just, that just furthers my opinion of don't run around and, uh, punching dogs. Just tame them. Don't punch them. Uh, okay, so, uh, that's the rabies. Let's move on to the next one. And now the next disease we have here is called the pneumonic plague. Oh dear lord, these freaking jerks. Uh, okay, so here's how this one works. Uh, of course, there's a vaccine and there's actually there's a medication for this one. It's called uh, chloroquine. I, I believe that's how you pronounce that. Uh, this is the medication for this that uh, we have created. And uh, this is how this one works. Uh, you know how whenever you're playing survival, you just you, you, you want to grab some quick food. So you eat raw pork chop or you eat raw beef or raw, uh, raw chicken sometimes I guess uh, well you can't do that anymore because it could give you the pneumonic plague <laughs> literally pneumonic plague 
Are you freaking kidding me? So, uh, let's go ahead. Let's throw some hunger at our feet. I just gave myself hunger four just so I could eat a crap ton of this. And let's see if we actually give ourselves the mnemonic plague. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep eating uh, until I get it. Oh, dude, check it out. We got it. We, we got the mnemonic plague. Oh, dear lord. Okay, so I cleared out my, uh, my hunger. And, uh, so we have slowness, weakness, and mining fatigue. Now, check this out. Check this out. Uh, the mnemonic plague. Uh, symptoms of weakness, drowsiness, correct. Uh, transferred from raw animal meat. The mortality rate is 50%. And it's treatable with, uh, chloroquine. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, we have a 50% chance to die here, dudes. <laughs> this kind of sucks. Uh, just for eating raw meat. So, these jerks have went around and injected the cows, the chickens, and the pigs, and probably the oceans for fish with a uh, pneumonic plague. I, uh, yes. Freaking jerks. Then, we, of course, we can, we can, uh, take this chloroquine, and, uh, I believe it'll start... No, it's not even working. What the heck? So, they, they made it immune. <laughs> they have mutated the pneumonic plague. Oh, dear. Now, it took damage. Okay. So, that means... You see how it took half my hearts? Uh, that means I actually survived. So, it, it ticked me with damage, but I actually survived. So, I was in that 50% of survival. That's awesome. And now, the next disease we have here is called the bubonic plague. Uh, the, oh dear lord, if you dudes do any research and just Google bubonic plague, you'll know that this was a very deadly disease. And, uh, these jerks have brought it to Minecraft. Like, bubonic plague is no laughing matter. I'm not, I'm, I don't even want to say jokes about it because it was, it was awful. It was very bad time in history. But, uh, yes. Uh, they added in also a new mob. This is a, a black rat. It looks like a silverfish, but it's a black rat. And this thing carries the bubonic plague. Yes, this is how evil these freaking money stealers are. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's grab this. Uh, let's grab this vial, this chemical extractor, and let's let's go ahead. Let's grab this bubonic plague. Come here, buddy. Okay, okay. I don't want to jump in there. <laughs> I don't want the bubonic plague yet. Okay, there we go. I got it. Yes. <laughs> so I have the bubonic plague. And I I thought I did. Yep. Where the freak did it go? Okay, so there we go. I got it. The bubonic plague. Uh, oh dear lord. And here, here's the stats on this. Let's go, let's go down to the bubonic plague. Uh, the symptoms are weakness, drowsiness, and fatigue. Transferred from the black rat, and black rat, and the mortality rate is 75%. So you literally have a 25% survival rate if you get this black plague. And these black rats randomly spawn in the world. And, uh, okay, so... Let's go ahead, let, let's give, let's give this money stealer the bubonic plague, there you go, you freaking dead, take it, take it, take it like a man, okay, let's get this one then, come here buddy, it's gotta be you, eh, why isn't this working, alright, so let's try this again, uh, here we go, dude, you, you just, you deserved it, I hope you know this, okay, uh, keep, okay, I got him, uh, it's empty, okay, so he's got it, <laughs> he now has the bubonic plague, oh dear lord, okay, so that dude's got a 25% chance of survival, I just want you to know, you deserve this, dude. You created it. Now you gotta reap what you sow. And of course, dudes, for uh, for research purposes, oh, I'll go ahead and give myself the bubonic plague also. Come here, black rat. Come here, dude. So I think he just kind of like touches your leg. Okay. So he doesn't do damage, but he has a chance to give you the bubonic plague. Let's see here. Okay. He hasn't given it to me yet. Uh, this is so disg- look at him! Oh, uh, it's disgusting! Okay, maybe he can't give it to- oh, I got it! Oh, no! Okay, gotta kill this dude. <laughs> oh, dear lord! Dudes! Oh, that villager just died! Or the money stealer just died! <gasps> oh, no! The bubonic plague got him! That's a good thing! <laughs> the money stealer's dead! But the bad thing is, dudes- I now have the bubonic plague. Dudes! Hey! <laughs> villagers! Look! I'm, I'm your research rat! Do some research! Watch how this affects me! I have a 25% chance of survival, dudes. Wish me luck! Alright, so I have no freaking clue how long this lasts. Ah, uh, this is so scary! 
Like, you have no clue how long... <laughs> uh, okay, so I still have the bubonic plague. Um... I don't really want to go to the next thing, and there is no vaccine for the bubonic plague. Uh, there's one for the pneumonic plague, but there's no- there's not one for the bubonic. Uh, I don't- I don't know. I don't know. There, there, there's- there's more diseases, dudes, that these jerks have made. Uh, I guess we just gotta wait. This is so stressful. I have a 25% chance to live, and it's taking forever. Alright, so it, it looks like I survived. Uh, I- I didn't even take damage. Uh, okay. I get 25%. Holy crap, I survived a 25% chance. I need to go buy a lottery ticket after this. Dear lord. Uh, okay, cool. Well, I guess- I guess let's- I hope it's gone. Dudes, we fought off the bubonic plague! Uh, okay, so let's look at the next, uh, th let's look at the next three, uh, diseases. So, uh, these three are called- this one is Parkinson's disease. Oh dear lord. Uh, this one is malaria and this one is yellow fever. Now how you get these and then malaria has a vaccine and a, uh, a medication which is also uh, chloroquine. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Uh, but yes. Yeah. Parkinson's is, uh, I, I don't even, the, the Alright, so I, uh, I take back any statements about the bubonic plague. I am not lucky at all. We, we have died. Uh, anyways, let's, let's move on to the next diseases, which, uh, like I said, the next one, the next one is, uh, Parkinson's. And what Parkinson's is, uh, you get it in a different way. Uh, you get it from actually, uh, exploring. Uh, walking a long distance. And, uh, okay, let, let's just go ahead and read this. Uh, so Parkinson's, the symptoms are butterfingers and jittering. And you, you get a, a transform, or transferred from over-exploring. So if you walk too long, you have a chance to get Parkinson's. And what that does is, uh, every so often, uh, you'll, like, twitch. And then, uh, you have a chance to actually, you'll just randomly start dropping items. So let's say you have a crap ton of diamonds. Uh, you'll just start, if you're running around and stuff, you'll, you'll just drop the diamonds. Uh, and you could drop them in lava, you could drop them anywhere, you'll just start dropping stuff. And, uh, that's what that disease does. Uh, the next disease is called malaria. And the way you get this is being in hot climates. Either the desert, uh, the jungle, and it's, uh, transferred through, uh, mosquitoes. Even though there are no mosquitoes in this mod, but check this out. Uh, malaria symptoms are weakness and fatigue, and they're transferred from mosquitoes or hot climate. And the mortality rate is, of course, 50%. So, uh, if you give yourself malaria, <laughs> you have a 50% chance uh, to survive. So, I just gave myself malaria. I have weakness and mining fatigue. Uh, so, yes. Now, <laughs> now I have a 50% chance to survive. Let's test my luck again. And the disease got me. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Dudes, my luck is not too good today. I just got taken out by malaria. And now the last disease we have here is called yellow fever. And you get this one the exact same way you get malaria by mosquitoes <laughs> in uh, the desert or in the jungle biome. And uh, let's, let's go ahead and read up on this one. Actually, let, let's take it first. Let, let's give ourselves yellow fever. Uh, oh, dear Lord. Okay, so it gives us slowness, weakness, mining fatigue, and nausea. Okay, so let's read up on it. Let's see what this one is. Uh, yellow fever. Uh, symptoms are nausea, weakness, drowsiness, and fatigue. Transferred through uh, hot climate it's mosquitoes, and the mortality rate is 50%. Oh, dear lord. Okay, well, <laughs> oh gosh. Let's try this again. And in the meantime, let's give ourselves Parkinson's. Why not? <laughs> let's see if we can drop things on the way to a possible de Oh, dear lord. I just, I just dropped the vial. Uh, okay. So that's what Parkinson's does. You drop things. Oh, dudes, I survived it. Yes! Okay. So we have survived... Yellow fever. <laughs> In your face, you jerks. Uh, okay, so, uh, that's all the diseases. And, uh, like I said, to get the actual, uh, to get the actual vaccines, you just, you just find some good villagers, and, uh, you just find ones that actually have the vaccines. Uh, so you just trade with them all, and until you find one. Uh, so I'll just, let's, let's see if we can find one. Oh, and here we go right here, look. Uh, he actually has the flu vaccine. So for one emerald, you can get the flu vaccine. Seems worth it to me. Uh, thank you, dude. <laughs> He's like a doctor. Uh, and oh, and he has, uh, uh, chloroquine. Chloroquine? 
I don't freaking know. But uh, yes, okay. So all the all the non money stealers actually do good for us, dudes. They're doing some research and they're trying to save us. This is beautiful. But anyways, dudes, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this mod review. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And of course, if you have, be sure to show me some love. Hit that like button down below. Maybe we can get to uh, 15 or 16,000 likes. That would be greatly appreciated. And uh, also, hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel for daily Minecraft videos. And uh, yes, dudes, we are, we're, we're figuring out the ways of the money stealers. And uh, we're gonna fight back soon enough.